Hello, this is Carlos Agreja, and this is a C sharp program. It's a high low game. Um, not sure where I was going with this. Casino games. Looks like um, I might have had more games I wanted to add, but uh, I got the high low game, so uh, let's start this up. Basically, that's what this is, yeah. I'm going through all applications that I did in 2013, so. Um, Guess a number one through one hundred. Okay, so um, let's see if this breaks. That was not a valid guess. Um, zero. That was not a valid guess. Um, so type in there and then to quick game. Right, let's see how that works. Thank you for playing. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, okay then. Um, so let's go with 50. That was the correct guess. Total guess is 1. Wow, I can't believe that just happened. Uh, okay then, yeah sure I'll play again. <laughs> I should go play the lottery. Uh, guess a number 1 minus 100, so 50. That guess was too high. So 25. I guess was too low. Um, 40. That guess was too high. 30. Um, too low. 35. I guess was too low. I'm bad at this game. <laughs> uh, 36. And six correct guesses. Uh, okay, I'm done. Uh, play thank you for playing goodbye so that is the uh, high low game okay so let's take a look at the code uh, got one class here it's got a main method a high low game a random number and a replay so um, yeah, we got an idea what it does, so we don't really need to read the documentation. Uh, high low, we'll call the high low game uh, for the main. Thank you for playing. Goodbye. Um, so okay, that's pretty much about it for that. <laughs> so that's simple for the main, uh, the high low game. So we got to input a value. A guess equals zero and a count equals zero. Value equals a random number. Guess a number one through one hundred. Type n at a time. So yep. Uh, okay, we're gonna we gotta do while. So do input get input check if integers were entered. Guess convert to in input. Did not think uh, to enter a letter. I think that might actually break it. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, well, not a valid integer because um, we have to try catch. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, it must be uh, sleeping. Um, so yeah, that's good. So either it's an integer or we have the issue here, uh, unless it's end. Um, so uh, looks yeah. Um, so end will also uh, this will get us out of the while while loop and then return us to uh, the main and end. So and the uh, and say goodbye and end. So uh, all right, that's pretty good. Uh, not bad. Um, if guess greater or equal to one, uh, guess less than or equal to one hundred. Um, so yep, that's where we have the. Uh, okay, so. Uh, let's get a check this. This is a conditional here, so obviously not a valid guess. That's where that exception uh, is.
it's handled and uh, otherwise if it's a valid guess um, guess is greater than value uh, that guess was too high if it was lower than a value guess was too low um, and obviously the uh, the count is increasing for how many tries okay um, and uh, if guess equals value then uh, that's the correct guess uh, total guesses and then the replay which is going to ask the user if they would like to replay and see what that does because it doesn't seem to take anything or return anything so um, probably just call high low again <coughs> Uh, that was uh, okay. And then uh, yeah, so um, we have the random number. Use the random number generator. Gather a number and then return the number. Okay, and this is max. So uh, 100 is not included. Uh, okay, and uh, so it'll be zero through 99. And by adding one, it's uh, one through 100 so um, the replay takes an input would you like to play again yes or no if it was a Y play call the high low game again um, otherwise break it uh, break and um, just a while loop for asking uh, so there's some conditionals um, <coughs> it does not equal a, a correct input not a uh, valid selection so it's got to keep going until the valid input was entered and yeah that's pretty much it that's the high low game thanks for watching